Hi everyone, this is Casey from the Department of Statistics and Natural Science. In this video, I'm going to introduce you the actuarial profession and also the job nature of actuaries. And then I will talk about the career prospect in Hong Kong. And most importantly, I will give you some idea about our program, okay, including features and some important information about admission. Okay, so now let's get started with um, this important question. What is actuarial science? Okay. So actually, it is a multidisciplinary subject that applies modern mathematical and statistical techniques to assess and manage risk, okay, risk in the insurance and financial industry. So, so you can see the focus is really on insurance and finance. Okay, so an actuarial science is a multidisciplinary subject and you will learn um, materials including both uh, probability and statistics and also economics and finance. Now then, what are actuaries? Okay, so, so they are experts and professionals qualified in the field through examinations. Okay, so this is important. So you have to pass professional examinations in order to be a qualified actuary. And you will use actuarial methods and techniques to assess, manage future financial risk. Okay, so uh, in a nutshell, so basically actuaries will use past information to predict the future by using their actuarial knowledge. So in the financial context, we are, we are facing insurance risk and also financial risk. So we will make use of our actuarial knowledge to help our company to make business decision and strategy. So I'll give you a simple example. So probably you have heard of this uh, new product called uh, reverse mortgage. So what is it? So imagine that you are a, a retiree. Okay, so you are retired. Now you are 60 years old. You don't have much uh, uh, money in your, in your bank account. So what you can do is to borrow money from a bank using your residential property as a security, okay? So that you can receive money income from the bank until you pass away, okay? Afterwards, the ownership of your flat will become the, the bank, okay? So you can see, you can imagine that uh, if the bank really wants to do a business like this, he's facing a lot of risk. For example, your mortality risk, okay? So the bank will need to estimate, okay? the timing of your death, okay? So when will you die, okay? So, and also the company is also facing interest rate risk and also the property price risk. So there are a lot of risk behind this product and actuaries will be uh, behind this product to do all the calculation. Now, how about the uh, prospect of graduates, okay? So is it is it a good, uh, in Hong Kong or in other world. So you can see uh, basically actuarial qualification is recognized worldwide. So that means once you are a qualified actuary, you can work in most developed country, including for example, the UK, the US, Australia, and Canada. And um, so if you are a graduate, you are not only uh, employed by insurance companies, there are also other organizations and companies hiring actuaries. And I'm going to give you a few examples. So here you can see, uh, this is actually a job advertisement from the Office of the Commissioner of Insurance. So you can see in this uh, advertisement, they are hiring a manager, okay? And if you want to apply for this uh, manager position, you have to be an associate uh, membership of the Society of Actuaries. Another example is from the hospital authority. So you can see hospital authority is also hiring actuary, okay? And you can see the salary is pretty good uh, from $41,000 to uh, $101,000 per month. Another sample is from the uh, MPFA. So again, they are hiring a manager position requiring you to have uh, actuarial qualification. So you can see you not need to really work in insurance companies. There are other organizations, including government departments. They're also hiring actuaries. Now you might wonder, what is the salary? Is it good? Now I give you some uh, salary survey. This is the one done in 2018. So you can see, um, for example, if you are it's a junior analyst, okay, so for a junior analyst with uh, one to three years of experience, your income, annual income is about uh, 100,000 to 400,000 K. And then uh, for assistant manager or even manager, your uh, and your salary will be around six hundred thousand dollars. Okay, and you can also see in two hundred one eight 
head of actuary was listed as one of the hot jobs in Hong Kong. Okay, and the salary was about 1.5 million to 2.1 million per year. Now, how about the uh, salary this year? Okay, so this is a newly released uh, survey, and you can see the numbers are roughly the same as in past year. Okay, so um, to sum up, so if you are a fresh graduate, so you will be earning about twenty thousand dollars per month, and then uh, the company will reimburse your exam fees. They will give you study leave before you take exams. They will also provide you with study materials. Um, so if you are a newly qualified, so after a few years of experience, you become a qualified actuary, then your income will be around $40,000 to $60,000 per month. Um, so here I, I give you several uh, excerpts from um, newspapers and magazines. So this is uh, one taken last year, uh, which was about an interview with two uh, representatives from ASHK, the Actuarial Society of Hong Kong. And they are saying that, well, actually, the whole industry is lacking about 30 to 40 percent of people. And it is very easy to find jobs in this industry. Um, you can also see that actually, actually was listed as one of the talent lists in Hong Kong. So you can see uh, Hong Kong government uh, created this uh, talent list. OK, so we really want uh, talent from this uh, industry including in particular actuaries. Okay, so you can see that actuaries is really an important uh, career, important job in Hong Kong, and Hong Kong is really demanding a lot of actuaries. So here's another excerpt from uh, newspapers last year. So it again says that it is relatively easy okay, for graduates to find jobs. And um, the development of the insurance industry in Hong Kong is still uh, very good in the past uh, few years. Now, how about our graduates? So uh, are they doing good? So this is the um, survey done in 2017. So you can see for this group of students, 83% of them are employed, 17% of them are doing further studies, and their uh, salary, okay, the median salary is around uh, $20,000 per month. Okay? And about 47% of them got one offer, 31% got two offers, and 22% got three or more offers. And then last year, okay, last year, okay, 87% of them are employed, 12% 12 of them are further uh, doing further studies. And you might wonder, so what is the missing 1%? Is that 1% unemployed? No, actually, that 1% actually uh, came from another country. So after graduation, he or she returned to his own country. And the salary was roughly the same as in uh, 2017. So the median income is around uh, $20,000 per month. And about half of the students got uh, one offer. 33% of them got two offers and the remaining got three or more offers. So you can see uh, basically all students are employed and their salary is pretty good. Okay, so I can say that the uh, job market in the past few years have been pretty solid. And we foresee that in the future, it is going to be the same. And here I'm going to show you the list of the employers and also the job titles of our graduates in last year. So you can see all companies are insurance companies, banks, consulting firms, government, and so on. And their job titles are actuarial associate, actuarial assistant, and so on. Okay, so they are all actuarial related. Okay, so hopefully by now you hopefully you are convinced that uh, being an actuary is a pretty good uh, career in Hong Kong. So how to become an actuary? Okay, so if you want to become an actuary, you need to be admitted into one of the professional bodies. Remember, you have to pass professional examinations. So there are several big uh, international actuarial professional bodies. Okay, including one in the U.S., the uh, Society of Actuaries; one in the U.K., the Institute and Faculties of Actuaries. So there are two stages, okay? So after you pass a number of examinations, you get the associateship. And then you need to further taking some professional examinations and then you become a fellow. So in general, it will take you about uh, five to eight years to complete everything, including the four years of study in Hong Kong U. So the uh, professional examination system in the uh, North America is like this. 
Okay, so um, so the basic level is about some uh, technical subjects. For example, statistics, economics, corporate finance, and some actuarial models. And then afterwards, there will be some more practical examinations like uh, actuarial practice, control cycle, professionalism, and so on. Okay, so after passing all these examinations, you become an associate. And then you need to continue with some specialist examinations, depending on your job nature. For example, if you are a life actuary, then you will be taking examinations on life insurance. If you're working on pension, then you will be doing examinations on pension. If you're doing corporate risk management, then you will take the corresponding examinations. So there are several tracks for you to choose. So after you finish those uh, specialist examinations, then you become a fellow. Now, how about our program? Okay, so of course, you will be very concerned about the admission requirement and also the formula. So probably you know the admission requirement. So we, in particular, require a level four, a level four in both mathematics and also one of the uh, module. And the formula is like this. So we will take um, English, mathematics, and other M1 or M2 as core components in the formula. And then we will multiply the score by two. And then we will also include uh, another best three subjects in the formula. So altogether, there will be six subjects included in the formula with English, mathematics, M1 or M2 uh, double counted. And you can also see that uh, Hong Kong, you give bonus points to level five, five star and five double star. Okay, so if you got, for example, uh, a five star in a certain DSC subject, then the points will be seven. If you got a uh, five double star, the point will be uh, 8.5. And also you can see the uh, statistics in the 2019 Jupiter's uh, intake. So the median score is 55, upper quartile is 58, and lower quartile is 52.5. Okay, so, um, so finally, I want to talk about some important features of our program. So first of all, we follow the syllabus of both the Society of Actuaries and the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. So in particular, our syllabus will cover over 80% of the associateship requirement of the SOA. So you can see in this table, okay, so there are many components, many examinations you need to pass in order to be an associate. And we have corresponding courses for you to prepare for each uh, component. Um, we are one of the centers of um, actuarial excellence conferred by the society and selected students will get their exam fee reimbursed. We also have uh, the VEE arrangement with the Society of Actuaries. So that means for some components, you don't need to take exams. All you need to do is to pass our courses and then you can get the credits. So we call them the VEE. Our program is also accredited by the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries from the UK. So that means if, if, if you follow the uh, UK system, you don't need to take any exams during these four years of study. All you need to do is to perform well in our courses and get an average grade of B or above. Then you will be automatically given credits for the first six exams. And our program is the first in Asia to obtain such accreditation from the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. Um, another uh, feature of our program is that students can freely choose to take any uh, second major or minor study. Okay, so possible combinations include first major in natural science plus a second major. Or you can do a first major in natural science plus a minor. Or even you can do two different minors. And here I'm listing uh, some popular choices of the second major and minor. So for instance, students can do a first major in natural science and second major in, for example, finance, economics, computer science, etc. They can also do minor in other subjects, for example, geography, biology, economics, or some languages. So students have a lot of freedom in designing their, their courses. Um, we also provide a lot of scholarships. Okay, so the most notable one is the Dr. Patrick S. Sipun Scholarship in Natural Science. So each year we will give out five scholarships to top students coming from the Jupiter scheme. And the amount is uh, $50,000 or $60,000 per year. 
and they are all renewable. So that means if you get the scholarship in your first year and your academic performance in the first year is good, then you can renew the scholarship. You get another $50,000 or $60,000 in the second year. And you can continue getting this $50,000 or $60,000 until you graduate. Okay, so this is a renewable scholarship. Um, another scholarship is given by the China Life Insurance Overseas. Okay, so each year uh, we will give our uh, $10,000 scholarship to several students. And then we also have scholarship from the Hong Kong Federation of Insurers. So each year we will uh, give out nine uh, scholarships and the award is uh, $20,000. And then we also have the Sir Edward Johnston Prize administered by the uh, Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. So we will give out this scholarship to the best graduating student. And of course, the department is also giving out a lot of scholarships depending on your academic merits. Um, so uh, apart from study, we also know that uh, finding a good job is really important. So that's why we put a lot of emphasis on helping students to prepare for their uh, future job. So that's why we have a very comprehensive so-called career advising program. In this program, there are many components, including a PPP called the Professional Preparation Program. So this is like a, a course, okay? So you need to take course and you will learn many different useful techniques for your future job hunting. We also have individual consultation to teach you how to write cover letter, how to write CV, and also learn some very useful interview skills. We have mentorship program arranged with many insurance companies, banks, and uh, consulting firms. So you will be assigned a mentor in the first year, and the mentor will give you very useful advice on your future study and your career. And then we have market information workshop, we have firm witnesses, alumni sharing, and career fair. Okay, so after you come in in the first year, we will give you all this kind of training to prepare for internship and also the uh, uh, graduate job. So speaking of internship, okay, so this is really important in Hong Kong now. So in uh, our program, over 98% of the students will participate in this internship program. Okay, so we will provide you with a lot of different opportunities and you can start with your internship in the third year. Okay, so you can learn hand-on experience, some real life experience from working in one of the insurance companies in Hong Kong. And of course, during these six months of internship, you will be get paid from the company. So this is all I want to share today. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you.